Eric Moade for the weekend of June 7th and June 8th, 2014. Let's take a look at how markets closed on Friday. We can see that the NASDAQ was up about 0.59, Dow was up 0.52, S&P 500 was up 0.46. Biggest mover here was the VIX, which was down about 8%, trading at a very low price of about 10.73. So that's how the markets closed on Friday for the week. We see that the Dow gained about 1.24%. Nice gain for the week, holding that breakout level. The S&P 500 also closing at fresh all-time weekly closing highs, holding above previous weekly resistance levels, up 1.34%. And we see that the NASDAQ is getting also very close to its weekly breakout or at least has that opportunity with a nice move for the week about 1.86% for the week. So if you take a look at the NASDAQ weekly, I just need to take you back a couple of weeks when the market was really seeing this big drop here. It seemed like it was about to crack, but all you had to do was draw a straight line, which is what we did connecting the weekly RSI lows, this low and that low, brought you to the precise support level on the NASDAQ. Once we held that support, which was somewhere here, we were suspecting that the market could move higher, which is exactly what it's done. So it's a very simple line that turned out to be very predictive in where the market was gonna go over the last couple of weeks. So that directional bet was kinda easy to call once we found support there. Now we've been talking about this the last couple of weeks, so no surprise. Now we see that the NASDAQ is getting very close to its weekly breakout level. The highest weekly closing high is 4336.22, uh, so 4336.22, and this weekly breakout, it's about 15 points away. So the NASDAQ could also possibly, possibly join the S&P 500 and the Dow by recording fresh highs on a weekly closing basis. Having said that, we need to be cautious, as always. I think the market is never gonna be clear, cut. there's always reason to be worried. If you take a look at this red line here, on the RSI, on the weekly for the NASDAQ, and I'll just go back to this. Once we moved below the red line there, was that level there. We found resistance at the red line there which was this high. We moved back below the red line here, which was before the pullback here. Found resistance there, back below the red line, which was this high. And on and on. Recently, we found resistance back below that red line, which was the most recent highs. So you can see that if the market stalls around here on the weekly RSI, you would expect a pullback. On the other hand, if the market can move above the red level there, then that would suggest that we're gonna get a weekly breakout on the NASDAQ. So we need to watch this level here, this level here. If the resistance at that level is gonna confirm that the market could be due for a pullback. So that's what I'm watching in terms of downside risk on the NASDAQ. Now, if you take a look at the NASDAQ daily, a couple of things here is a couple of days ago, as of last week, we were finding resistance on this band here on the daily going back to the previous daily closing highs here. But since then, you see the market has blasted above that short-term resistance, which is positive. Also take note of the fact that we seem to be above this declining RSI level there. So this RSI top lines, the market has moved above that. So on the daily, we see a breakout. That sentiment breakout could be suggesting that there's more upside as far as the NASDAQ is concerned, and if you go back a couple of weeks ago, this line here held. So market has found support on the downside, now seems to be breaking out. So we have to conclude that momentum still continues to be to the upside. You can see even we are trading above 69.10, which is just a sign of strength and momentum. Take a look at the NASDAQ 60 minute chart or hourly chart. And what we see here is last week I talked about this line here 
on the RSI, on the hourly. And this line, every time we move above this line, like we did here, we had a nice pop in the market, moved above the line there, moving the market higher, found support on the line there, moved higher, broke above the line there, moved higher. All these instances, we moved higher. Here, we moved higher here. And so I was saying that as of last Friday, we were trading and finding support on this line here. My thinking as of last weekend was that we move, we might move higher, which is exactly what we got. So that makes, I'm not surprised that we had a nice week because we found support on this blue line. I know it's just a line, but it seems to be making sense as to where the market wants to go. And right now the momentum continues being to the upside. Don't forget on the monthly for the NASDAQ, we continue showing trading above 69.10 on the monthly. I've been saying that's just a sign of strength and that strength is being confirmed week after week after week. As long as the market is holding above 69.10. If you don't know why that is important, check out my free educational videos on YouTube. I discuss this level very much and the reason why it makes a lot of sense that ever since the market moved above 69.10 here, it corresponds to this big move in the market. That's just what happens every time the market is trading above 69.10. Let's take a look at the Dow weekly. And you obviously see here, we finally did manage to break out successfully above this 16478 level, which we were using for entry point. Anything above that we were thinking was positive. That has turned out to be correct. And so the market continues recording fresh all time highs. And we just need to take you back to the support level a couple of weeks ago when the market found support on this RSI weekly lows. We knew that more than likely we were going to move higher, which is exactly what happened. But now, just like the NASDAQ, we come back to this level here. This level has been problematic for the market. And I'll show you why, because if you go back to the breakpoint of that level there, which happens to be that high, we came and found resistance there, which was this high here, found resistance here, which was this high. Okay. Eventually we would come again, find resistance here, which was the highs of late 2013. And so now we're in this general area. That's why I'm, I bring this up because if we find resistance here, and the market turns around, you should expect some type of a pullback. But the market should be safe, I have to say, as long as it's holding about this weekly RSI support line. Anything above that is a market that is going to move higher or at least every pullback is going to be shallow. It's only until we break below that line there that we can start looking for a market to seriously go down. Let's take a look at the Dow Daily. And the Dow daily showing a breakout above this RSI line. Once we moved above that line there, that was our indication that short term day to day, the market could continue moving higher. Take note that we are very close to 69.10. If we ever move above 69.10 on the day we do move above 69.10, expect to record a big up day. That's just how it works. If we take a look at the Dow, 60 minute chart we also see a similar breakout there's a breakout here on this long term hourly resistance on the rsi so once we broke out above that during the week we knew that the market would have a nice push here so that makes sense that the weekly rsi is breaking out the daily rsi is breaking out and so now we see that the hourly rsi is also confirming upside momentum so the market continues to look good surprisingly but it is because the monthly rsi also for the dow is above 69.10 you can see there and also we are seeing a fresh monthly breakout above 16576 which was the previous monthly closing high end of 2013 so 16576 is a fresh weekly breakout for the Dow Jones. So, I mean, everything is just pointing to a bull market in terms of breakout after breakout after breakout. If you take a look at the S&P 500 weekly, here we are. This is week number 
three, I believe, at previous highs, back to back to back, weekly closing highs. And we talked about the fact that the market could surprise to the upside ever since we found support on this RSI lows a couple of weeks ago, right there. Once we found support here, we talked about the fact that the market could surprise to the upside and it's exactly what it's done. We also seem to show that the S&P 500 is breaking out above the declining top line. So we don't have negative divergence anymore. And we see that this week we had a nice move. Move Why? Because we moved above 69.10 on the weekly time frame. A quick look at the daily for the S&P 500. And you can see closing at all time highs. We have already showed breakout on the declining RSI line. So a couple of days ago, once this breakout was recorded, we were suspecting that the market could move higher. And that's exactly what it's done. If we take a look at the hourly, similar type situation here, because the hourly also shows that the S&P 500 broke out, I believe two weeks ago, a week ago, about this declining top line. So about May the 26th, once we broke out here, about that declining top line, and we say that anything above this blue line is positive. And since then, the market has done well, especially after breaking out above this to this above this previous highs. So everything makes sense that the market is moving higher. Uh, really not much of a surprise. Don't forget that the S&P 500 has had its monthly RSI above 69.10 going back to middle of or late 2013. So we've, we've been staying above this. 69.10 level for a while and you can see we continue staying above that level there so that's just a strong market and that it's going to remain that way until the s p 500 can move back below 69.10 on the monthly if you take a look at the vix daily closing at a fresh 52 week low so the vix daily closing at a fresh 52 week low Yes, the market does seem to be a little bit extended on the upside because the VIX is way oversold, if you can say that. But we talked about the VIX not being a buy until it can move above the declining top line. So the VIX should not be a buy for anybody until we can move above the declining top lines. The VIX should not be a buy until it can move above this declining line here. So this line connects the daily closing highs on the VIX, daily closing high there daily closing high draw a straight line so to me the VIX is going to be in a bearish territory short term until it moves above this line or even at least if it can move above this secondary declining line here so indication is the market should be at least safe the next couple of days yeah, that's my thinking also the VIX hourly we talked about the fact that if the VIX hourly stays below the declining line here on the hourly Anything below this declining line is just suggesting that the VIX is going to be weak. The VIX doesn't move higher until it breaks out above declining lines, just like it did here with a nice entry point here short term. So we need to see a move above this declining line if the VIX is going to do well and if the market is going to pull back. Right now, <laughs> the market looks safe. Let's take a look at Apple here before the split. And this is a weekly Let's take a look at the monthly. Of course, now it's going to be 641, I believe. So if we can break out, if we can hold that breakout level there. Actually, my bad, the split is 741. So the price to watch is 91.48, which is this monthly closing high here of uh, in 2012. So as long as the stock is holding above 91.48 that should be a fresh breakout on the monthly chart keep in mind that it's very close to 69.10 if it can move above 69.10 and i'll show you that the stock tends to do very well above 69.10 of course this pre-split price is or was 470.37 so we talked about if the stock can stay above this previous monthly closing high pre-split 640 
was the price level. After the split, it's going to be 91.48. If it can hold above that, the stock should do well. Actually, if we take a look at why, is because it, if it can move above 69.10, and I'll show you that on a long-term monthly view, if you take a look at this 13-year 13, 13 monthly chart, what you see here is above 69.10, just like here, corresponds to this nice move here. So you can see that above 69.10, the stock does very well. So you'd like it to stay above that 91.48 level, and also you'd like it to recapture that 69.10 area.